Better here. Thank you for hanging out. Um, I am Libby and I am in my studio creating whatever I feel like creating. So on the table right now are products that I am working on putting in or onto the market. And these are um, food for young ones to play with, or it could be Montessori, or it could be um, uh, teaching tools, whatever. It's very tangible and lovely, and they are fun, very fun to make and to touch. They're made out of felt, just regular felt, and um, rayon thread. All right, so I'm gonna move my camera just a little bit. Okay, so um, if you have any questions, make sure that you ask a question and I will do my best to follow the chat. And I'm, uh, I'm gonna talk a little bit about um, what I'm doing as far as like um, marketing. So, um, make sure, thank you for the like, I appreciate it. So, um, one thing that I want to try to do is, um, hello, there I am. Uh, one thing I want to do is try to help you understand, um, the symbiosis of the, um, of how I'm working in my, um, studio and how that relates to the um the digital program that and the course that i actually bought so um so actually very happy that you're here so first are there any questions and thank you for being here um let's see 10 of you so um drop in the comments all right, I have a lot of things that I could make. I can make a waffle, an extra waffle. I have a list of things that I need to make. I have two embroidery machines. So um, I'm going to add a waffle. I need to add a waffle, okay? Backwards. I don't like things that are backwards and that's not fun. All right, the more likes that, that I get, um, Thank you. The more product I'm going to make today. All right. So um, I know there's a setting and I can turn you around. Um, okay. I can do this. Flip the camera. Oh, no, that's not right. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I go to settings and. Okay. One more try. One more try. There, uh, no, mirror, there we go. That's better. Okay, so, I think that's right. Can you see this? All right, so I need to add a waffle. I need to add peanut butter to go with my jelly and I'm going to do some cheese and it's all going to be the same style, but different felt. So here's the cheese. It's cute, right? So um, thank you for joining and this is gonna be kind of random, but I wanna make sure that um, I share a few things and I'm just showing up live because I wanna hang out with you guys for a little bit. All right, so I'm gonna clean off my table and um, I'm gonna try to keep track of the chat as I go. Um, so I have a few cats and they're coming in and out of my room. So I'll be hanging out with them. And um, this is my sewing machine. This is one of them. And I have another one over here. And that's gonna be where I do. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try to do two machines. I'm gonna try to have two machines running, okay? 
So two machines running. All right. Okay. So thank you for joining. Thank you for the likes. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Um, yeah. Putting in likes that helps me. That is validating and I appreciate it. So I'll probably be on here about an hour. I'm going to clean up the food that's on my table and I'm going to make a piece of cheese. I'm going to make a waffle and I'm going to do a peanut butter sandwich. So instead of the jelly, I'll use a tan thread that looks like peanut butter. Okay, so I'm going to do these three things in my embroidery machine and I probably need to um, think about making some more items, but right now I'm, I have a lot going on on the table. Okay, so I'm gonna clear this up. This is going to be available in my Etsy store. Um, the set of eggs and bacon, that's gonna be $17. Okay, and then we'll have, <clears throat> you know, a set of pancakes, just two pancakes, that's like $10 for two pancakes. And then I have a burger, okay? And the burger comes with some cheese, and it, so it's the burger, the patty, and the bun. And that is going to be, um, let's see, find my notes, let's see. I think it's $22. Okay, so there's the add-on set, which would be the um, the pickle, the avocado. Um, yeah, I don't know where I put them. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna stack this up so I don't. And I also have a BLT. The BLT is so cute. I love the BLT. So tomato, lettuce, two pieces of toast and some bacon, all right? So I hope you all are having a good day. Here's the add-on for the hamburger, or for whatever you want. This is the avocado, this is a pickles, this is a tomato, and this is an onion, all right? So thank you for their gift, thank you so much, I appreciate it, okay. So <clears throat> these are the donuts that I made yesterday. This is a red velvet donut, if you can see that, red velvet. And then this one is a chocolate. I think it's probably a chocolate glaze. Can you see that? And then this is a sprinkle. This is a chocolate with sprinkle icing. I love this one. And then, Finally, this one's chocolate icing with sprinkles. Sprinkles. Okay. So that's some of the product that I'm gonna have in my um, in my store, my Etsy. Okay. So I'll put that aside for now, and I'm gonna get rid of. My notes, I've got those notes. All right. So how's everybody doing today? Thank you for the rose, my goodness. Thank you so much. All right, that's some validation. Thank you so much for the for the gifts, I appreciate it. Okay, um, I got myself some notes here as well. And here's what I wanna show you. Look, I have all these sticky notes. What I did was I made myself a digital guide, okay? And this is the Machine Embroidery Journal, all right? I'm not sure if you can see this very well, but what it does is it helps me keep track of um, how I sew the pieces, okay? And so the first page is the title of the embroidery design. So for example, I would put like 
um, a hamburger or the BLT. So here's the BLT. This is a smaller page print. So this is the BLT that I just did. Okay, and I had to put the felt color. Um, I had to put what the actual item was. I had spot to put um, the color number, which each color has a number. Each one has a content of fiber, and this one is uh, rayon. And then each one has um, a name, and this one is called maze okay so i have space in this to write down all of the information that i need all right the second page is the journal for what kind of fabric did i use so i'm gonna say i used felt and i'm gonna say what colors they are i'm gonna give myself what dimension it is and each one of these felt pieces that i buy are 12 by 8 and so they'll fit um, probably one, like if I wanted to make um, a, uh, a pancake, I'm gonna need one sheet of felt. I'm gonna need um, some cut away stabilizer, two layers. I'm gonna need some, um, some tear away stabilizer. This goes in the hoop. So when I'm done, this actual has this actual item has six layers so on here i have listed the number of layers and what to name these layers okay so i am going to offer this as a digital product on my link okay so in my um in my information i'll be offering this and I'll be making some other digital products to offer as well. And they're geared right now toward um, an embroidery life, which that's what I'm doing right now, the machine embroidery. However, I am also a seamstress and um, I sew regular garments um, on, a, on a regular basis. I'm sewing garments and the... Um, I want to make a guide like this for people who are sewists as well. Thank you for the follow. Appreciate it so much, Jordan. I hope I I'm, thank you for um, appreciating my comment or uh, my content. <laughs> okay. So anyway, um, drop in the comment if you're hanging out with me. Where are you from, and what's the temperature where you are? And then I'll, uh, I'm going to get my, my phone over here is making some, some strange noises. So, all right. Um, anyway, let me get started on something creative in my room. And I want to stand where I can see you. So I want to bring you closer. Um, I'm also on um, YouTube, though. YouTube, I'm so sorry. I think that part of what we're what I'm I'm showing you is not showing on camera so I'm gonna do this all right so closer look at um, one of the pages here okay so this gives me the information that I need on here and I really think it turned out cute so all right so I have to sort out my table here for a second and get rid of some of the material that's on here and um, figure out how I'm setting up my stuff, all right? While I'm setting up, I want to talk to you also about the course that I bought and the course is called um, Earn and Learn Profits Online and it is, um, or it has, it's a, I have, followed this course and it's step by step and I've been learning how to set up a place where I can funnel you if you are interested in actually um, purchasing some of the product that I have okay does that make sense all right so digital product and this digital product is 
um, open for sale. I am selling this. Um, and if you want this, you can, you know where to find information and you know where to ask me for this information. Okay. So let me get something started and then, um, I will show you this, this, um, this program while I have something sewing. And, um, at the moment, what you're looking at is, um, this machine here that does little embroidery and then this one does big embroidery. So I'm going to set up this machine for, um, what did we say? We want to make a waffle. We want to make a uh, peanut butter. We want to make, um, let's see. I don't want to make donuts. Um, I want to do some cheese. But I want to do all of one thing in a tray. I think I'm going to do some cheese. All right. I'm going to do some cheese. I'm going to put the cheese in here. And I'm going to do the waffle. Um, not the waffle. I think I'm going to do a peanut butter sandwich in this small one. I think I'll get the small one going first because I think that's going to be easier to do. So once again, I'm moving the food out of the way. I hope you're all having a great day. This is what I do in my room. And I'm a sewist and a crafter. And I have been um, sewing and crafting <clears throat> for, um, I, I don't want to say how many decades, I'm trying to think. I guess since I was 10, I've been doing this, since I was 10. All right, so this machine is, um, needs to be threaded and I need to change the foot on there so that it's the right thing, okay? So it's the right, it's, both of these machines will actually sew, and I want to change this so that it's um, doing embroidery. And I got to see if the sandwich is, is located inside the machine. Okay. Now I'm going to bring you. Um, I'm going to bring you over to the machine, but basically the machine is um, has got a pattern stored inside of it, and that's part of what this guide is for. So. I'm going to be able to look at the, let's see, machine, no, this machine setup and stabilizer. And it's like what page it was on as far as like, where is it stuck? So, okay. So this is fabric. This is machine setup. This is stabilizer setup. And I've revised this. I'm going to make it, this is the bigger version so you can actually see this. Okay. <laughs> Say hi to everyone. Hi, everyone. <laughs> hi, Leah. All right. So this is the thread details. Now, this is for what I did for donuts. Let me use donuts. Okay. And these are the notes for the fabric preparation. Um, the only preparation that I have for this is basically... Um, cutting the the, um, the the felt and that's the only thing now if I make a shirt or something that it's going to have more so um, here I put like what type of fabric is used where purchased it and then um, the source like the name of the company I have to put that in and there is a page for the machine setup so here the machine is set up what kind of speed I have how much time it takes to sew it and um, hoop size, number of layers, and then I have place for special instructions. <laughs> and then an the interview at the end, would you make it again? All right, there is a place where I put the source of the design, okay? So I need to know where this design is installed. Is it in my machine? Is it in the software on my computer or is it on a USB stick? 
or do I still need to download it and here's the website address where I bought it, okay? So I'm giving myself as much information as possible, all right? So you prefer standing, I can stand in front, I can't really see the chat um, if I am not standing right next to the camera, all right. And do this. <clears throat> the first thing I'm going to do is gather my materials. This is the um, the cutaway, which I need to put two layers of that. This is the tearaway, which I'll put two layers of that. Here's another cutaway. That's an extra. So anyway, all of these sticky notes need to go into um, a sheet like this. Previously, I had this notebook and all I gave myself were these little, um, this little notes here, just numbers and where they were sewn. And I don't know where to find that. I have a thread wall and it is color coordinated. It is not by number. And so I couldn't find them and it took me a very long time to do that. Okay, so paper. Now I need a hoop. I'm going to check this machine and see if the, what did I say I was making um, over here? I think I'm making the, um, uh, the peanut butter. So I'm going to see if it's in here. I see pancakes. I see patches, I see a skull, more pancakes. See, I really thought I kept the, um, the peanut butter in here or the jelly sandwich. All right, so it's not where I think it should be. All right, checking the files. Okay, that's gonna take a minute to get in there. So I'm going to start the other one. I'm going to start a, a tray of cheese. So um, first fabric. And I think yellow cheese. And the other one is kind of a creamy color. So I've got these two colors. So this is this is for the cheese, um, for like the Swiss cheese. And this one's for like the American cheese or cheddar. You could call it cheddar. Is that the right yellow for cheddar? What do you say? Is that the, the right yellow? Um, I might have a different yellow for cheddar. Just curious. Is this a better yellow for the cheddar? I need a yes or no in the chat. Okay, so dark or light for the cheddar, or I could do all of them. I can do all three, but can you see it? Dark or light? Which one? If you're hanging out with me, um, let's see. I think I'm liking the um, the light one makes sense for me for just like American cheese. This is going to look like um, okay, this is the pattern I want to do. Okay, this is the pattern. So I can change the thread color on this and I can also change the, the color of the felt. Now the felt on this one is this color. Okay, so this is the felt. I haven't tried one this color and I haven't tried one this color. So I can't decide. Well, let me do another one. 
Hmm. I like the holes on it too. The holes are cute. I know that indicates like a Swiss cheese, but anyway, thanks for hanging out. And even if you're just, you know, watching, lurking, whatever, just want to watch somebody crafting, that's what I'm doing. Also, I'm really excited about how I'm building my business online. And I will show you some of that in a moment. Okay. Let me start with um, something familiar. I'm going to do this one. Because these are experimental. Actually, let's let's step out of the comfort zone here. Um, so I'm going to do one of each of these and see how it goes. Let's see. I can fit. Um, they're double layered, okay? So there's two pieces of felt in each one. So I can do one, two... I can do two slices of cheese this color, and I can do two slices of cheese this color. That's four slices of cheese, and I think that's what I'm gonna do in my big machine. All right. So drop a like. Thank you for the likes, oh my goodness. How many likes on this stream? That's uh, 500, almost 550 likes on this stream. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. All right, that's very encouraging. I appreciate it. All right, so if I fold this in half, am I gonna have enough to fit this? Oh yes, I've got enough to fit this. All right, so I am going to cut this all at the same time, I don't recommend doing this for you if you're a novice at this, <clears throat> but I am testing this out. Okay, I'm not going to use that as a template. I'm looking for my pattern. I have everything labeled, but there's a giant stack. All right, I think, I think this is the cheese. If I didn't label it, I'm going to. I need to make sure I put on here what this is. I'm gonna put Swiss cheese. Hello, cat. I have a cat. I have four cats. I have Marshall just came in. Marshall doesn't like being lifted up very much, but this is Marshall. He's my rescue kitty. And he likes to hang out with me while I sew. He actually prefers the window. He's kind of asking me to turn on the window or open the window. You want me to open the window? Now, don't purr and be on my stuff, okay? Now I have cat hair on me. It's all right. It's the life of a cat mom. It's the life of a cat mom. All right. I'm going to put this away. Now I'm going to cut this pattern. The best way to do this is to trace around it. Do you have any questions about what I'm doing? I do want you to interact because um, if, if you don't, then I feel alone and I might as well turn off the live, you know? All right, so I'm just gonna trace this. You know, and if you're getting, if you're finding this content to be informative for you, um, drop, drop a like, 
let me know how I'm doing. Because I really appreciate it. Okay, so now I have my pattern traced. And I'm just going to cut my four pieces out. Now that one's looking a little short. Put this back on here just to make sure I've got the right size. Yep. Looking a little, a little short on part of the the interfacing, this part, but all that does is stabilize the, the felt, okay? That's all it does. All right. Okay, YouTube cannot see what I'm doing, and I feel like I need to turn it just a little bit, okay? Now, See my camera it's insane okay so I'm gonna shake you around just a little bit sorry for that I need to have have the cameras match a little bit better so you can actually revisit this live if you want to so I might have to let me see okay I think that's better all right that's better Okay, questions? Any questions? Thank you for all the likes. Oh my goodness. Who's liking this over and over again? Thank you so much. <laughs> That's great. All right. So I'm going to say hello again. And I'm making a menu. I'm making a menu. All menus offerings okay menu offerings so this is going to be a set of cheese um you know it's making me happy to do this right now and if i never sell any of it it's fine it doesn't take up a whole lot of space i just gave my niece um an entire set for her birthday and an entire set and I made a, um, a holder for it out of acrylic and it really turned out well. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna tilt this just a little bit so I can see you and your chat and I can see me while I work. Okay, and I think it's going to go like this. All right. Okay, YouTube, I'm so sorry for that. Okay. Now I've got this cut. And I think I want to do two cheeses. I've called this a uh, Swiss cheese, but um, it could also be regular cheese, which is what I'm creating. I'm sorry you want to create just some... Um, some other cheese options as far as colors go. And that'll be fun. This is cutaway and this is felt and this is my pattern right here. Now I'm gonna try it. There it goes, Max. If you follow me on my other channel, I have a whole lot more content of um, crafting in my craft room and my name is craft um, max custom designs and if you want to follow me over there you can also um, please look for me and my content on embrace a new course there's a little um, I can't say l-i-n-k and I can't say b-i-o but you know where to find it. And if you go there, um, then you can see the product that I'm using so that I have a, um, a presence online. I have built 
um, a place where I can collect emails. And I have built um, a, an information page, some place where people can get information about what I am selling. And it is a really, really great program. It's very comprehensive. Um, I, don't, I don't feel alone because there's a community that is also um, very supportive and it comes with the course itself. So if you have any questions, let me know. And right now I am going to put another color because I can do four, I think, in my, in my little, um, my machine, I think I'm going to do four of them. I mean, I think it's smart to do a batch so, and that means like that I have everything the same. It makes sense to have everything be the same when I sew it because it sews so much faster. Okay. What's the weather where you are? How hot is it? There's two of you in here. What's the weather? It is probably about 80 degrees here in northern Indiana. And we're supposed to have some rain later on today. Trace first and then cut. Ha ha, I'm cutting the cheese. Um, so, this is um, a, a type of applique. Actually, it turns into really, it's a patch, but it starts out as an applique. So if you want to see more content like this on this channel, let me know. I am, um, I do talk about the course on this channel that I am learning and um, it's not easy. It's step by step, but it's not easy. I am being challenged by this program and I appreciate a challenge. I really do. I appreciate um, some knowledge and I will admit, I'll be the first one to admit, I really had a rough start with it. I started it, I started out with it in May and at the end of May and here we are in the middle of, um, of, uh, July and I'm set up. And if you want to see what I created, then you have to go to the L-I-N-K. All right. You have to do that. Check it out. Come back and tell me how it looks. I need to know how did I do. And um, while you're there, sign up for my email list. That would be great. So, okay. I'm going to do one more of these. And then I'll have four of them. And then I'll be ready to go to the embroidery machine. Oh, I don't want to trace it. I don't want to cut it. See, what's going to happen is if I cut this paper, then my pattern turns out to be the wrong size. And I would rather it be a bit bigger than too small, because if it's too small, I can't, I can't really fix it. Now, felt is very forgiving and I can stretch it just a little bit. So if it's, if the felt is too small, it's, uh, it's something that I can probably stretch out a little bit. but I don't want to have to do that. Okay. 
Okay. I think I moved the pattern just a little bit. So are you going to be watching the world's, um, the women's world cup? Because I am a diehard soccer fan and I have been, um, raised to have a love of soccer. And I cannot wait to see some of this, um, some of these, some of these games. Right now they're kind of in the middle of the night because it's all in, uh, you know, Australia, New Zealand. Give me a break. Okay. This is kind of giving me fits here. I want to make sure that this is the right size. So I'm going to put it back on here. All right. Thank you for your likes and thank you for your comments. I really appreciate it. So embrace a new course and Max Custom Designs. Max is the name of my cat and you saw him walk through here a little bit ago. He's my... He's my senior cat. He's a sweetheart. They're starting to lurk around because they think it's dinner time. Not quite dinner time. They have an hour. All right. Um, I think what I'm dealing with here are the pieces are a little bit off the pattern. So we'll see how this one goes. I'm gonna make it as accurate as possible. Okay. All right, if you're liking the content, hit that like button. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Okay. That has to be rounded a little bit. Watch out for your fingers. I used to make quilts. I love making quilts for a long time. That's all I did, make quilts. Now I'm making felt food for some unknown kid out there or a Montessori program or something like that that wants uh, some sort of demonstrative Oh, my other kitten came in the room and he is whining at me. He's a he's a talker. He likes to whine. Oh my goodness, don't whine. Okay, so I promised you I would show you this course that I'm taking and I would show you my funnel, which the funnel itself is um is a is is actually just the result of what I created, okay? So this is the program that I'm, um, I'm currently taking. And basically it's like having a college course, okay? It starts out step at a time, tells you where to start. These green bars indicate um, what I have finished and what portion I've finished. And if I have any other um, lessons to learn in there. So here's an introduction to digital marketing. And you can see here's um, a welcome video. And then over here are the lessons themselves. Can you see those? All right. So these lessons are, um, are not very long. They're probably about um, 12 minutes long a piece. Some of them are shorter. And it, um, it tells you step by step what to do. So like... Um, writing a mission statement, writing a vision for your company, um, setting a brand position. Um, and then it gives you an idea of like how Netflix set up their brand. Um, and so you would, it would take you through this lesson. And I took a lot of notes. I took so many notes. And then down here, setting up System IO. System IO is what I used to put a presence online. Okay, 
So um, I'll show you that in a minute or a couple minutes. I want to go back to getting my machine ready. And next I'm going to do my hoop. Okay. Um, I should be able to do four pieces of cheese in this size hoop. Okay. So I'm gonna do, I just have to fold it. I just have to fold the paper in half. Again, if you're enjoying this content, please um, hit that screen, tap the screen. That encourages me to come on here and um, show you what I'm doing, give you some lessons, talk about this course that I'm taking. And um, what's nice about the course, now it is $497. And that is the price that you pay. It's a, it, it includes everything. Because all the courses, all the extra content that our, um, our group has created, and, um, and the support, and you get the support group, which they're wonderful. And um, most people answer questions right away. We are probably a thousand strong. So there's a thousand members in our group um, as we speak, as of today. Maybe a few more. So that's a thousand people who have um, bought the course and who are learning how to set up an online digital marketing. Digital marketing, that's what this is, is digital marketing. Digital marketing is one of the number one ways to make money right now. Digital marketing is one of the number one ways to make money right now. So if you want to make money online, then you're going to either research with YouTube, um, follow TikTokers who give you advice. But what I like about this program is it's all in one spot. It even talks about affiliate marketing, which I haven't even got into the lessons about affiliate marketing yet. I'm still working on the digital marketing um, side of things. But I did get my email automation set up and the email automator um, automation for the email was probably the most important part um, because what that does then is and it's called a funnel because it funnels people to your information page so if you want information about the course that I am taking, that I purchased, it's um, it's in my, um, it's find me, okay? So if you go to that L-I-N-K, all right, up there, <laughs> you will find my, um, my info, okay? And again, like I said, the, the course is um, $497 and you can do payments with PayPal. That's, you know, that's not a big deal, um, but it is worth it. It's worth it. I've learned a lot. Now, is it the end of what I'm going to learn? No. Why would I stop learning after that course? You know, you take a course and you learn and then you go on to the next course, right? So the so one of the you know one of the first things I've done is talk about like the digital marketing, right? But there's also the the marketing side, which means that I'm not offering a digital product. I'm offering a physical product, which is, you know, these something like this, you know, I'm I'm offering a product. And so I'm learning about how to build my brand how to help people um, learn, how to present um, information, make product accessible. That's the number one thing, is this course is teaching me how to make product accessible, okay? So product accessibility. 
All right. Can you hear that? Sounds like a drum. So it has to be real taut. So it goes in the machine. The first thing I'm going to do is go to my machine and the machine is going to sew um, a die line, which is um, it basically it's a guideline for where I'm going to put this belt. Okay. And then it'll sew a stitch that holds this on. And I'm going to put the other side on um, on the back side at the same time. And so it'll it'll put a tacking stitch and then it'll do the actual embroidery. Okay? So are you ready to see the embroidery going? All right. I have to I have to trim this just a little bit. It's a little big. It's kind of bulky. All right, so the thing about the group is you can set up notifications and those notifications um, help you see if somebody else needs help. That's what's neat. So I have a notification and it says, does anyone know about, right? And then um, if I know about it or if I have some advice or, you know, some information, I'll go in there and I will respond to that question or that comment and, um, and or just go in there and support and or say, you know what, I'm filing the same question. I have the same question. I'm having the difficulty. I had um, a, I had a lot of help to get my account straightened out. So, thank you for being here. Thank you, thank you. I'm not gonna be um, hanging out, but maybe an, an hour, probably another hour. So, if you're enjoying this content, please let me know. All right, I'm gonna bring you over to the machine. Okay, this is my machine right here. And um, hopefully you can see the needle because this is what, this is the interesting part. Now I'm gonna um, turn on the lights because obviously you wanna be able to see what's going on. Let me get those lights going. All right. There's some lights. Now we can see. Um, so there is a foot in here and it's called a P foot. And that is the only foot that you can use for the embroidery. Um, down here goes the thread that's going to show on the back. And um, I'm going to take, I'm going to take you over to my thread wall and we're going to pick out some thread to go with these, um, these colors of cheese. All right, so I have these two colors of cheese and I'm gonna go to my, well, um, my little guide that I wrote, okay? So on here, this is the, the BLT and I have, um, let's see, the, the, I call it a Swiss cheese, okay? So it's gonna have two colors, something for the holes and something for the rest of the edge, all right? So um, each one of these pieces of cheese needs two colors. One that's for the holes and the others for the shade and the edge, okay? So this is my, this is my sample, all right? So I need a dark color and I need a light color. So the dark color for the holes is also gonna go around the outside, okay? This is the felt, and then this is the shading. So I need um, a darker color and a lighter color. So let's see what we can find on the wall, all right? 
I haven't gotten any comments and I Katie, thank you for joining. I don't know if I if I've had any new comments. Um I'm pretty sure. Thank you for all the likes. Oh my goodness. Lots of likes in the stream. Thank you so much. Wow. 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 Okay. So there are lots of people. Okay. No, I don't want to invite you to come into my live. Sorry. I really don't. Um, because I'm, I'm a singular kind of person in my life. Okay, so, goodness. I don't know why it's asking me if I want to invite people to go live, but I don't need it. don't need help in my life. Anyway, let's go see what kind of, um, what kind of thread I have on the thread wall. Okay, you're getting a tour of my room. All right, so what I need is a light and a dark. Okay, so I've got um, this yellow. Can you see what I'm working on? Yeah. Okay, let's go. All right. Um, this golden yellow looks really pretty, and I like this maybe for the shade. Actually, it might be too similar. That's also too similar. There are a lot of yellows over here, golds. Okay, so maybe I need to go more. No, that really didn't do anything for me. Okay, do you like helping with this? If you do, tap that like, tap those likes. Thank you very much. Thank you for tapping the likes. Goodness. I appreciate all the likes in the stream. All right. So, um, I think, let me back up just a little bit. Okay, this is the, this is the most tedious part is trying to find something that's not gonna disappear. Um, actually, I kinda like that. Okay, so that's going to be the one that's going around the edge. Now I need something that's going to be a bit darker for the holes. And um, I kind of I kind of like those two. So actually, that might be too bright. Just a little bit too much. And that's not enough. All right. Okay, I like those two colors. Now I need two colors for this one. And I'm gonna be going toward these lemon yellows. So we've got that one. And that one looks way too similar. I could go toward a brown or a tan. Then there's this, which is a lot lighter. I think this is supposed to feel like um, Swiss cheese and this one, no, this is supposed to feel like American cheese and the darker gold one I think is supposed to be feeling like, um, like just, um, cheddar. So like cheddar and then American cheese, right? Cheddar, American cheese. So we have the ones for the cheddar. Now we're looking for American cheese. Um, this does not look like it works. I like that. I like this one, but I'm not sure if I would do that for the edge or if I would do that for the inside. Um, again, I could I could take a little. I mean, that doesn't look like American cheese to me, though. American cheese is a little bit more of a golden to it, so maybe I go back to this one. I don't know. I need some opinions. Does anybody have any opinions? I like them. I like having opinions. All right. 
Thank you for your, thank you for all the likes. I appreciate it. Okay. So if you're hanging out today, I want you to tell me what's the temperature and where are you from? All right, um, taking a look again at this, it's too dark. That is too dark. So again, we're trying, I like this for the edge. And I'm gonna put this light one back. Now these are racks from Joann's and all I did was um, attach them to the wall and these spools fit in there as long as I'm flipping them opposite. And they fit in there really well as long as I do that. Okay, that doesn't look good. That's too orange. All right, making decisions on thread. Um, so it's supposed to be American cheese. So let's just go with these and see what it looks like because if I hate it, I don't have to do it again. So now that I have my colors chosen and my, and what, you know, with the thread that I want to use, this is where I will go to my guide and I will, sh and I'll, I'll write down what it is that I'm doing. Okay. So I'll write down my colors. Now I'm going to need the wind some bobbins to go with, um, let's see, I'm going to embroidery mode. All right, there you go. Sorry about that. Okay, so I'm going to, I'm going to go to embroidery mode and then I'm going to set the machine But I have to wind some bobbins first. My little kitty loves bobbins and when he hears me working with bobbins, he comes running. He loves it when we work with bobbins. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna do is see if I can find that cheese in here. Um, I might have trouble finding it because I have all the other things with it on the same tray. There it is. It's right there, but I don't think I can isolate it. Yeah, it's all one piece. All right. Um, I'm going to have to download it into my machine and I can do that with my program that I have on my phone. So there's the embroidery link and I go to designs and here's the cheese and I send it to the machine and I hit send and there it goes. It goes into the machine. All right. So now... I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna go to um, edit. I'm gonna tell it to do a bigger hoop. And the hoop I have is 11 by 11. And now I can take this and I can put it right there. And then I'm gonna hit this button down here and it's going to populate that all together. Now I'm gonna take this one I'm going to go to, well, this actually has it so it sews all the same color at, like, as it sews all the edges and it sews all the other um, colors at once. So there's only five colors in here. Okay. Well, maybe there's six. How many steps are there? There's six. Um, this takes an hour if I want to do this. The, the thing that's going to happen is I'm going to start and stop. So the first thing it's going to do is want to sew that die line. And the die line, remember, is just a place to, um, is where I place the actual cheese. So 
All right. All right, this is embroidery thread. Um, actually, bobbin thread. It's a different kind than I usually buy, and it feels um, it feels different than the bobbin thread I usually use. <clears throat> okay, but today I'm going to be winding four different colors in bobbins. Oh, that's good. All right. Um. Oh, good. All right. Good news coming through my phone today. All right. So this is... I don't have to wind this bobbin all the way. I can do it just partially if I want to. Okay. Which I, like I said, I... I don't need to, so I'm gonna just stop that. Okay, so that's bobbin number one, color number one. Now I've already forgotten which one's which until I put them next to each other. Yeah, winding bobbins is one of those things that just kind of, it's a little bit tedious, but. I have to hide the bobbins because my kitty comes in and he wants to play with them. I used to let him play with them, but um, he said sort of, like chew on them and then they won't go in the machine. And then he would lose them and I'd be out a dollar because each one of these is a dollar. Hello, Nicole. Thank you for joining today. All right, now I'm gonna take that. Up. Two more colors to wind. Okay, bring those over here. See, it doesn't take long to wind them. This one's called Golden Rod. Does anybody have allergies this time of year? Because goldenrods are highly allergic. It's a high allergen. I used to be so allergic to it when I was in high school and college. So, um, I have this business that I'm starting. Or, you know, what I'm doing is taking max custom designs to the next level i want to offer product and um, create a store and do all of that online and you can see what um, my digital store looks like oops that's not right i missed a step oh, i missed a step okay let me undo this because it's a mess all right so the, um, yeah, the store that I want to um, create is going to have um, physical goods in it and not, um, oops, okay, oops. I don't know why I'm having trouble winding this bobbin right now. Okay, so let's go back. Let's go back. You know, this is, this is totally valid. This is totally valid. You definitely can do this. All right. Get rid of that extra. Okay. Unwind it a bit. It was okay. It did, it did start all right. Okay. Now, I missed a step is what happened. And when I'm talking, I miss details. Okay, so um, multitasking is a lie. 
okay? Which is why I'm automating my business. This is why I'm automating my business, okay? Because I don't want to have to worry about taking care of it. It should be taking care of itself so I can be happy in my room. All right. Okay, that goes with this one. All right, no comments, please comment. If you're enjoying this, please make a comment. Um, tap the screen, give me some hearts, and um, give me some, some love in there. Um, go check out my store, see what you think. I'm interested, all you have to do, um, well, it's actually, it's my information page, and it tells you that, you know, it gives you information about um, a digital product that I'm selling, which is the course that I took, or I am taking, and what's nice about it is I can sell it, and I don't owe anybody any money. You can sell it, you don't owe anybody any money. So if you have found me on your FYP and this is something that you're interested in doing, like you're somebody who has maybe a physical product to offer or something that, um, you know, a digital product to offer, something like that, then um, this course is definitely something that will give you some information on how to do that. Helps you take steps on how to create an online presence, okay? This is the last bobbin that I have to wind before I can start, okay? I think that's enough. All right. All right, so now I can put this in the machine along with, um, let's see what the first color is. After this, it's going to sew the out, uh, um, the tack down stitch. So I can keep the same color in here for a couple of steps. All right, and that, uh, um, then I can show you um, some of the features of the program that I bought. Because, you know, you want to see it before you buy it, you know? You wanna see what you're getting before you buy it. I get it. Buying and taking that step to buy it is um, it's a big step. There are courses out there, start out like $7, and then they get you with upsells. And um, I know so many people in this particular program um, that have bought this this course who got duped by that. Now, do they have information? Yeah. Um, it costs them thousands of dollars to get it. And it gives them um, probably, I mean, it's going to give them the same information, like, you know, digital marketing. But um, what do you know about digital marketing when you're done? You know? A lot. You know a lot. But you don't necessarily have all the tools that you need at your fingertips. Okay. So while this is sewing, it's sewing die lines. Okay. I'm going to go over here with my, with my little iPad there. Can you see this? Okay, so I want you to be able to see both, okay? Um, I want you to see this and this. All right, I'm going to back it up just a little bit. And I'm going to tilt it this way. And then I can move this over here. All right. <laughs> I feel like I'm presenting. I'm being a presenter. There we go. All right. Okay, so now you can see that and you can see this. All right, so what you're going to get is um, a course. And each one of these, I would call each one of these a unit. Okay, 
So in it's in each unit, it tells you um, how much you've gotten done. Okay. So here is um, optimize your sale process, and I've done 29%. Um, now, what do I have in here? Well, I have um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven lessons. And each, each one, the video, and also sometimes it comes with um, links, a resource, or something that you can use, or PDF, okay? Um, community, I've got um, also down here, content strategy. Um, email marketing is where I am at the moment. So email marketing is where you capture emails. People who are interested in, in having more information or getting, um, you know, like they have a free guide or something that you get to offer. And then, um, you know, and you go through funnels all the time. If you get anything you want more information about, you're gonna go through an email marketing funnel, okay? So um, here are some tips for email marketing. You've got how to set up your emails, um, offering newsletters, and if you um, hit the drop down, there's some optional ones. And then if you go over here, um, it it gives you this video and the All right, video. All right, so whenever you get into system, I All right, is I'm trying to see like how long this is. This video is five minutes, and that's probably typical of these um, these lessons in this. This is your, the community that you get, and um, you have all of these members and and all of these different um, subjects. Up here is the classroom, and that's where you find all of your information. So. Setting up a system I.O., that's where I, that is the, the longest one, at least for me. So there is step, 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 all these steps. Um, can I revisit this? Yes, as many times as I want. I'm about to set up a, another, um, another account so that I can do a capture of emails for people who are interested in product that I create in my room. Okay, so now it's um, it's time to place the um, the felt. Okay, to do that, I'm going to use this um, this uh, basting spray, the adhesive, and it's almost gone because I've done so much food. All right. Um, so what I need to do is adhere this to this. Now I'm going to use my, my trash can for overspray because I don't want to get this on my machine. Leave that. Okay. I just need a tiny little bit. Okay. So I'm going to adhere this. What this does is it keeps the, the felt from, um, stretching. Okay. So I'm going to do another one. Oops, there it goes. There. Okay. So when this is sewn, it's really going to look a lot like cheese, I think. All right. I think what I'll do is bring this up here so it's easier. Okay. Do you have any questions? All right, no questions. All right, one more. This one didn't cut apart. So this program taught me how to do like, you know, those things that are at the bottom of a page that that's like your, your legal, you know, terms and terms and, and, uh, oh, what's that called? Information. Terms. 
legal terms, legal those legal things. All right, so I'm I'm adhering a piece of this to each one of the backs of the cheese cheese slices. That's what these are going to be. All right. Oh, I forgot to put that over the trash can. God damn it. All right. Because what that does is it oversprays, and I don't want anything sticky on the back of my machine. All right. I have two more pieces. One here. And I don't know where the other one went. Um, is that it? Yeah. Okay. I don't know if I am seeing anybody online. If you are here, because I feel like maybe I'm getting blocked and I might have to redo my live. So if you're here, please drop a comment. You know, um, just say hi or, or put a thumbs up or a smiley face or something because I'm afraid that, um, that I'm, not, I'm, I'm not seeing any comments. So I'm worried that nobody's here. And if nobody's here, then I'm leaving. So if you're enjoying this comment, this content, I need you to comment and let me know if you are still here or not. Okay, so I'm going to put some more glue on here, on this side, to adhere it to this. Okay. And I'm going to make sure that my felt is going to be lined up with these lines. I mean, you could put like where from and what the temperature is, where you are, something, um, something like that. It is about to storm here, I believe. It's looking very dark outside. And we are supposed to get some storms here. Um, Oops, that's the wrong color. I don't want to do that. I want to put my cheddar. Cheddar cheese. I need the cheddar right there. These are not cut straight. And I think that I'll find out when I sew it. Just the placement stitch. It'll show me where... I need to stretch it a bit because it looks like I, I probably need to stretch that corner a little bit. See, I told you, uh, felt is forgiving. All right. Now, I don't know why I put this in the machine because now I have to turn this over and do the same thing that I did on the front and put the pieces on back. So I'm going to do this one. And this. And this is even more important that it fits on the back because um, I, am, I am not going to be able to see it while it sews. And I won't be able to stretch it as it goes through the machine. All right, so why embrace a new course? Well, because I am taking control of the course of my life. And, and also I've used this course to learn a lot. So there is, a, there is um, there's the name, Just embrace a new course. Now, Max Custom Designs is my other account. If you want to head over there and give me a follow. went to sleep. It got tired of waiting for me. Okay, checking to make sure that this is all inside the lines. And then when it's done sewing, 
the um, the placement, not the placement stitch, but the um, the zigzag stitch that I'm waiting to, to sew. Okay, I'm just going to give that a little squirt. And a little squirt. All right. Because I want that to stay when I turn this over, okay? So all the cheese stays on there. Did I make it the same color on both sides? Yes, I did. Double checking. Because wouldn't that be weird to have orange on one side and yellow on the other? Uh, you know, it could be a design choice. Who knows? Okay, now... I need to make sure that I don't get my fingers in here, and I'm going to use this little tool here to hold this as it sews, because sometimes this belt will roll, and it'll get caught up inside of the, the actual foot, and that is not a good, that's not a good thing. Okay? All right, I can already see that I needed to trim. So when I go when I go back, I'll trim. Okay. Once it's done sewing this stitch, I'm gonna go back and trim it. All right, is anybody gonna go see the Barbie movie tomorrow? Okay, that's one. Now, if you can see, um, there's see this edge right here? I'm gonna cut that away, because I want that to be right up in line with the other one, or with the stitching. Okay, all right, so piece number two. Uh, if you if you're enjoying this content, please follow, hit the like button, follow me, check out my content, make comment, let me know you're here. Okay, these are really big, and I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna trim them. Like I said earlier, I'd rather they be too big than too small because if they're too small then I'm going to have issues as far as getting that embroidery to cover the edge of the cheese. Okay. Now at this point, I'm going to stop the machine and I'm going to go forward a, um, a step and I'm going to go ahead and sew the shading, which is remember it's the same. Wait, is that the same color as the dots or is that the same color as the edge? Um, let's see, dial on to like shading, tack down shading. Okay, so it's the same. Oh, before I do that step, I need to trim. Okay, so you can see there's a lot of extra material between the stitching and the, um, and the edge of the felt. So I'm gonna take that. And I'm going to use these scissors that are shaped like an L. And I'm going to use those to trim away the excess. And I'm going to get really close up there. All right. There's a little bit there. Oof, a little bit there. All right, and I wanna go here. I have to do the front like this as well, okay? Now I'm trying to follow the chat, and if you're sending, sending me some likes or um, questions, if you're giving me a follow, I wanna thank you for that. I wanna thank you for stopping by if you're just scrolling through. Okay, 
think it's going to be easier if I turn this. I'm at a strange angle for it. There we go. Believe me, I have cut things at stranger angles. Okay. A little bit there. Okay, I got that, got that. Now I gotta go on the other side and I'll deal with the cheddar cheese here in a second. All right, and this one's gotta be trimmed as well. Hello, Beatrix, how are you today? All right, I'm gonna end my live here in a couple of minutes because my cats are hungry. So in about 10 minutes, I'm gonna end my live and um, and uh, you'll be able to see this um, finished and for sale. All right, and trimming the excess, all right. And that makes it, that's going to have a nicer edge once it goes back. Because it'll go back around and give it a zigzag edge all the way around again. Okay. So I'm talking about and I'm showing you this because um, this is the whole reason that I um, purchased the, um, the digital marketing program. Because I can also use it to advertise online with my um, Max Custom Designs, okay? So a little bit more to trim, and then we'll start sewing some shading, okay? See, the machine says it, it'll be like, it takes an hour to sew, but um, it doesn't include this portion where I'm cutting away some of the extra and preparing it for the rest of the sew. All right. I don't want any of that white edge to show. I know you can't see it on camera, but I can, and I don't want it to show. Also, I'm trying not to um, stretch this too much. Then I stretch this too much, then, um, then the sew will look wrong. I'm also trying not to cut a hole in the paper. That's why I have these L-shaped scissors. There's a couple of different kinds of scissors you can get. Um, applique scissors, which kind of have like a duck bill look to them. I just prefer these. I have two pairs of those. All right. Now, the other thing I'm going to do. Okay, so yeah, now I'm going to do the shading for just the, the golden cheese, the American cheese. That's for the American cheese. All right. Ready? Here we go. So now this is going to do some shading. All right. Do you have any questions? I'm looking at the chat, trying to see what's going on with you. And I hope you're enjoying this content and I didn't adjust the YouTube. I don't even know if I'm going to post this content on YouTube because YouTube, I haven't been keeping track of the camera. So I'm going to go back down here, all right? Can you see this? Or no? 
long as my as long as my tray doesn't get in the way. <laughs> All right. Okay. So what I want to show you is um, something called System IO. is free for anyone. You do not have to buy this program to be able to use System IO. So what happened here is that I had um, someone sign up for my email right here. So they went into um, my funnel and here's my funnel. Um, I have to sign in. One second. Alright. So here's my funnel and this is my capture, and right here I have four pages. I have a page that collects email, I have a page that gives you information, and then I have an order form. I have some place for you to order, all right? So um, this is my opt-in page, and if I go and I look at the page, let me refresh this one because I don't think it loaded right. Okay, so now I can look at it. This is what it looks like, okay? So if you go to my page, this is what you'll see. And then down here, there's a button after you put in um, your name and your email, you hit this button and it'll take you to um, the info page which looks like um, this, okay? So Embrace a New Course is the name of the, um, the program, or sorry, that's my, that's my business name. And then here is where you would click on, um, on these buttons here, right here. So if you click that button, down here it tells you all of the things about um, what you receive with your purchase and all of the things um, that will teach you that will teach you in this course and one of them is how to set this up okay the next thing um, on the is the order form and what that looks like is this and so um, you'll pay the 497 um, you'll put your name and email address and there are several different ways to pay you can do PayPal PayPal will give you the option to spread out your payments. So you won't have to pay PayPal. You won't have to pay for this entirely. You just pay, you do PayPal, okay? And then you'll get the program. All right, if you have any questions, let me know, okay? Hello, the Dylan. How are you doing today? All right, um, demonstrating my business that's called Max Custom Designs, and I sell um, textile products. Right now I'm making um, a set of food. Okay, I'm actually making just cheese, but uh, let me show you. We've got, you know, pickles, and avocado, and bacon, and toast, and some lettuce, and some tomatoes, and these are all foods that I've made with my embroidery machine. And I'm offering these for like six or seven dollars a piece. But as a set, you'll get a whole sandwich. You'll get a BLT, okay, for like. 25 bucks. Okay, when this shading is done, which is almost done, I think this is starting to look like American cheese. I really do. What do you think? Is this looking like American cheese? This is going to be cheddar cheese. So we can make a cheese sandwich. 
Okay. I also want to do peanut butter. Okay, so now I'm going to stop it because I'm going to go to the um, a, another color. Okay, so I'm going to cut the thread. I'm going to pull this out. And I'm going to change the bobbin. So, ooh, that bobbin's looking low. That's all right. All I have left are the edges, and I think that will probably be all right. Okay. So the next color I'm putting in there is the edges for the cheddar cheese. The edges and shading for cheddar cheese. I gave a set of food to my, um, my four-year-old niece for her birthday, and it was a hit. I'd have lost my mind if I got food like this when I was little. And it is eternal. This will not go away. Felt does not deteriorate. It pills, but it doesn't deteriorate. So it is everlasting. It lasts a very long time. Okay. Now that's set. I'm going to unlock the machine, and I'm going to go back a couple of steps so that I can tack this down right here. Um, now, I'm going to fast forward my machine, and I can do that. Um, let's see. I'm going to go to maybe stitch 2000, see where that puts me. Okay, so now I'm going to... That puts me over here, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to minus that a little bit and see if it takes me back over to the other side. Um, yeah, actually, that's where I want to be. I win. All right, that's a guessing game, really. Okay, it's looking like it's going to rain over here. Okay, now it's going to do um, the zigzag stitch. And I have to hold this down because otherwise it can get caught between um, the foot and the needle. Okay, so I hold this down. So when I'm done trimming, when I'm done sewing this, I'm gonna have to trim it again. Okay, and this is looking a lot like cheddar cheese to me now, right? If I say, hey, this is cheddar cheese, I believe it's cheddar cheese. Not white cheddar, but it's cheddar cheese. Now my four-year-old niece was able to identify most of what the food was, and um, I think the avocado actually turned into apples, which is fine. It's pretend play, so you you know use your imagination. It could be whatever you want it to be. All right. I'm almost done with this live. Okay? I've got to feed my cats. Alright. So if you're looking for a digital marketing uh, screen, you're not going to find it right now. I'm doing this. This is my hobby that I am um, turning into my business. And I am using what I learned in this course to set up an online presence, understand digital marketing, understand marketing, understand um, how to build a business, how to um, create a logo, how to um, do a mission statement, uh, you know, I mean, all of those things, they're, they're very important to, you know, I mean, identifying your audience and um, there are many things that I have learned from this course and I, I it's cheaper than taking a college course. It's cheaper than taking a college course. Okay, now this didn't catch over here, but that's all right because I'll catch it when um, when I do the the next step. 
All right. So I'm going to take this out of here and give it a trim. I'll do the shading, and then I'm going to be done with my string. Okay, and you can look online for the completed product, and that will be in, you know, my ETSY, and that's where it's going to be at the moment, all right? And if you want to follow me, if you want to um, get more information about the course, um, information, or just, you know, or just follow me, get some, get some emails, um, you can also go to Max Custom Designs. I haven't set up a funnel for Max Custom Designs yet. That's next. Um, I have to set up myself another. It is going to be like going through the course again. I took notes, but setting up the, the system I.O. is going to be a challenge again. I'll have to look at my notes. I'll have to look at videos. But what's nice is having those videos and I can go back and I can look at them over and over again. Um, if I were doing a college course, um, I would not have anything except for my notes. Because you're not videotaping your professor most of the time, not doing that. Okay, this is looking like it missed a little bit. So, um when I go back to sew the zigzag stitch, um, I'll make sure that I catch that in there. Okay. Please, please feel free to make a comment. And I know that, you know, I'm not, I'm not giving you any obligation to talk to me, but I have been lonely in this stream. I have had nobody talk to me. All right. Now I'm going to trim the other side. And then I'll be able to put it back in the machine. Okay. Hmm. All right. I need to put some power on my, my iPad. I forgot to put power. So you might have gotten paused for just a second. All right. Can you still see? All right. Trim, trim, trim. These are special scissors. They're an L shape. And therefore, doing applique work um, in the hoop on the machine. So it, what it does is it keeps the blade from going into the paper. Okay. Okay, there's two layers here that I need to make sure that I cut because, you know, there's the, the inside layer, which is the um, cutaway stabilizer, which keeps the, um, the felt from stretching. And then there's the, um, the felt. So I'm going to make sure that I trim this down as best I can. Okay. Get this away. All right. I think that looks good. I don't think I missed any. Oh, here I missed a bit. Oh, I missed a big chunk of it over here. I'm glad I caught that. It's hard to see because it's white on white. Okay. All right, so. That's it. Um, now I am going to sew this last step and then I'm going to end the stream because um, we just got a severe thunderstorm warning and that means that I want to turn off this lovely machine because I don't want it to blow up. All right. So I'm going to go back to here. Fast forward a bit. Let's see where that takes me. 
That isn't going to take me anywhere. Um, let's see. Let's go back here and go to stitch 2000 and see where that takes me. All right. Um, actually, I'm ready to do the shading. All right. So now we're going to take it through maybe to stitch 5,000 and see where that takes me. Um, nope, still over here. So I'm going to do another fast forward here and do stitch 6,000. And that's still up here. So I'm going to keep going. Um, it's a guessing game at this point. Okay, let's see where that takes me. All right. Um, that's looking better. <laughs> All right, so let me fast forward a little bit. Okay, that does not look right. And I, oh, I don't want to do that. Okay, now it's going. Okay, let me go back. Should fast forward here. Or fast reverse, anyway. And there we go. Oh gosh, that went way too far back. Yeah, I'm fast forwarding it. You can see that. I'm holding that minus, but there it goes. Okay, I need to pay attention. But you see this little cursor right here? That represents the needle and where the needle's going. Almost there. Now, because the machine sees this so as all one um, and one thread, it doesn't see that I changed the thread. So now I should go back. Okay, fast forward again. All right, this is bad. Okay, a couple more stitches. There we go. I don't want to. All right, now, this is gonna stitch the shading for that, and I don't have to watch that very, very much, okay? Oh, see, see. All right. for joining. I appreciate you joining. I appreciate you being here today. All right. This is making some shading, but I feel like the shading matches too much. But it's, I think it's the dimension of the holes that's going to get it the best. See? I think it's the holes. That's what's going to give it a nice little dimension. Drea, how are you doing? Are you still in here today? Let me know where you are, what's the weather, and how are you doing? Alright. I actually don't mind that. It gives it a nice little texture.
I was going to run my other machine too, but since there's a thunderstorm coming, I am probably not going to do that. So the next one now. Yeah, I think I probably could have done a better color for that. It looks real similar. Probably too similar. I'm rolling up my stabilizer here. Clean up my rim a little bit. or you had a good time watching, please hit the like button. Um, send me some hearts like this. I appreciate the hearts. Okay. Uh, thank you for the hearts. I appreciate it so much. make it to 600 likes. Oh my goodness, the cat is hungry. He is hungry. He came to find me. I know, baby boy. We're almost done. He's a shoulder rider. He likes to sit on the shoulder. This is Max. That's why we have Max Custom Designs. Because Max is always in my business. thunderstorm come in I do not want to have my machine on I am going to turn it off and I will see you I'll see you on the next one thanks for joining have a great day everyone bye